What's up, everybody? It's your boy, Rishraf. I mean, who else would it be? You know what I mean? <laughs> it's your boy, Rishraf. And today, we got a part health system. Now, I think this is really cool. I designed it the other day. And yeah, so let's get into the video. What we're going to do is we're going to click it. And our health just went down to 90. Okay, so now that we are actually in the video, um, what we're gonna do is we need to insert a part. Now, as you saw, we just need to get a billboard GUI and all that stuff like that. So what I wanna do is I wanna insert right off the bat, we're gonna need four items. We're going to need one, a click detector. And I'm just using click detector. I mean, you don't have to. You can make one the player touches it. Or if you want to make like a lumber tycoon type of thingy, where the axe has to hit it, um, you could do that too. Uh, just do a touched with the axe, and then what you would do is just do, um, you know, something like that. We're gonna also need a script. We're gonna also need a. We're gonna need an int value. Let's go ahead and name this value health. Let's go and name the script uh, click health or something like that. And then lastly, we're going to need a billboard GUI. Now you may notice that. As one of the children weld may appear, that's just because it's attached to the base plate. In the billboard GUI, what you're gonna do is you're gonna insert a text label. Now, before you do anything else, we need to make sure that all of this stuff is set up properly. Now, go into the billboard GUI and click always on top. That's gonna make sure, you guessed it, it's always on top. Now, go ahead and set the adorning to the part that way it's good. Now you can always count on the Roblox Studio crashing. Now that's really unfortunate, but we're gonna get back into it. And honestly, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna change the transparency. Let's make it anchored for sure. And then let's go ahead and change the transparency if uh, this will work here. Let's go ahead and go to the appearance. Let's change the transparency, something light. I like 0 0.6 preferably, uh, cause you can kinda see it, but not really. Uh, 0 0.6 comes right after 0 0.5. Uh, for this health value, uh, we'll do this later. Uh, first of all, I just want to start by the the uh, GUI here, the billboard GUI. So for the size, uh, you guys can configure this however you want. I'm just showing those of you who do not know how to configure it. So what we would do is we would change this Y value to 120 and that's going to expand it and that way we have a little expansion of it so that way it sits a little higher uh, i'm not really going to be going into how to do guis because honestly guis are really not my thing if i'm being honest uh they're just really not the move for me now it's not really a preference to use them uh, especially billboard guis uh, go ahead and change the text so for the text this is important because it makes everything flow in your game we're going to say health colon 100 out of 100 and there you go for that. And let's go ahead and make it some rich text and make sure it has money on it. And I didn't, I didn't like, for those of you, like it doesn't actually have like money on it. Um, can I increase this? I don't know why it's text scaled, but I can still configure the font size. Not sure what's going on with the studio. I know it's being kind of, uh, kind of weird because it just crashed. Uh, but now that we have this, this looks really good. This looks official. Now what we're going to do is just one simple script. It's like, I think it's like a couple lines of code. It's like maybe 10 lines of code, which is super simple. And what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and classify some stuff. So let's go and make a variable called health. We're going to say health equals script dot parent dot health. That does not, if that does not show up, if this is what you're not seeing when you're scripting, please rewind the video because you did something wrong. Click enter. Uh, a lot of people have been commenting like they try the video they copy the place and then they're like oh wait it doesn't work uh because you guys need to like watch the video uh in order to understand that's why i say every video please watch the whole thing so you can understand what each thing does this is called decrease so this is how much you want to decrease the health by uh, let me go and leave a comment this is how much you want the health to be decreased by so that way if I click it, every time I click, it's gonna decrease by 10. And then what we're gonna say script, we're gonna go and say script.parent.clickdetector. Remember, if this if you're not seeing exactly what I'm seeing, then you messed up. Uh, place will be in the description below, 
but I highly recommend you watch the videos uh, because I notice a lot of people just like to take the place, which is cool. I mean, it's cool either way. This just helps you. This should autocomplete. I know it's a variable, but value should be there. And we're going to say health dot value minus decrease. So before we move on, let me just go ahead and explain. We have declared what health is. So we're going to say health equals script. So right here in the Explorer, I have the script. We're going to say scripts parent, and this is going to be the parent. As you can see, you can tell something is the parent by if you like close it, nothing else is here. And underneath is the children. So what we have is health. We're going to say dot health right here. Now let's go ahead and declare this value is 100. There we go. And now if you were to change this value, um, right off the bat, it wouldn't change the text. If you don't know what that means, don't worry about it. It's just keep this at 100 if you want it to be just like how this video is. Then we're going to say once we click this, uh, we're going to, the player doesn't really matter at this point because we're not modifying the player's health, we're modifying the part's health. And this is a server script, so we don't need to do any events or anything. And we're going to say health.value equals the health.value minus decrease. That's how you minus something in Roblox. You can't just say health.value minus doesn't work like that. And then what we're going to do is we're going to say health.changed. So when the value is changed, we're going to say connect function. Let's make a new function and like this. And then we'll press enter. Boom. And I'll say if health.value is less than zero, you don't want to do less than or equal to. We'll say then return. Okay. So what this means is when our health decreases right here, if our health is less than, so like if we were at zero, right? Obviously, if you minus 10 from zero, you get negative 10. But I mean, you can't really have negative health unless you're doing one of those sci-fi games. But I like to do it so that way when we hit zero, we stop. So this is how you can do it. In one line of code, you say if the health value is less than zero, then just stop. Return means just stop. Like just bro, just just stop. That stop whatever's going on. So we're gonna stop whatever's going on. If our health is below zero, we're not gonna display it. And this way you don't need an else statement. Cause I can just do if the health is then, then whatever, then print okay, our health is full or whatever. It's without the minimum. I'll say else, but this avoids the else statement. This is just stop the stop the execution of this function right here. Below that, what you're gonna do is say script dot parent dot billboard gui dot text label dot text. Now, if you change any of the names, what I'm typing in will be completely different from what you're typing in. Now we're gonna say quotes. Now here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna say health. Now this is why it's important to have exactly what I did at the beginning. So everything is smooth, capital V value. We'll say dot dot and we'll say quotes, say 100. Now what we'll do is we'll have the health value out of 100. Now you're probably like, okay, but Rishraf, check it out. I think you messed up Rishraf because if you change the health and it's below zero, so it's like negative three, negative four, negative 10. In this case, it would be negative 10 you're going to name it, you're going to have it as negative 10. Now, I don't know if you guys understand what I'm what I'm saying, but basically if our health reaches negative 10, it should say health equals negative 10 out of 100. But in fact, it's not going to do that because we added this little if, because if it's less than zero, negative 10 is obviously less than zero. We're going to return. That means stop. So anything below this is anything below this return is not going to execute. But let's just say our health is at like 50. If the health is less than zero, nah, we're not. That if statement doesn't even register. We're going to move on and we're going to do that. Now that's it for this script. Let's go and check it out. So we have our health here. Let's go and press test. Alrighty, so we just loaded in. Our health for our part is 100 out of 100. And what we're going to do is we're going to click it. And our health just went down to 90. We didn't have any print statements, so nothing should be in the output, especially no errors or warnings. And I'm going to go ahead and zoom out and you see that we are clicking. I can keep clicking, clicking, clicking. And as I reach 10, I'm going to click one more time. I'm at zero. Now the part health is at zero. But if I, I'm clicking right now, I don't know if you guys can hear that, but I'm clicking and the health will not decrease more than zero. I can go into the base plate and I can look at the health and it can be at negative 140. That doesn't matter. But 
it's going to remain to the player. Now, whatever happens behind the scenes, whatever, it could be at negative 150, it's going to keep going down, but it's going to stay there. Now, if you guys don't want your health part, notice how it was like at negative 150, negative 180, even though it displayed, all you would do is you'd say, if health is less than, you'd say health.value equals zero. And here's how you can reset it too. If you wanted to reset it, just say health.value equals 100. Boom, it's that easy. And then, but I wouldn't reset it there. You know why? Because it's gonna return n and it's not gonna update. What I would do is say, if it's less than, so if you wanna reset it, take out this and then do health.value equals 100. And then you can continuously keep doing that. That would work too, but in this instance, I'm just gonna keep it at return. Uh, if you guys want to reset it, that's how you would do it. I just explained it. This is why it's important to watch the whole video because you know secret features to the scripts and modifications that you wouldn't get just by copying it. So that's it, everybody. Please, I'm gonna leave a description, a uh, link in the description to my Loaded Fitness and Loaded, I'm sorry, Limitless Gamer. Please try and make a purchase or spread the word or anything. Um, also, check out my iOS games on the App Store. I do have a couple on Android. Um, I will try and link... Uh, them in the description if not search up infinite driver on ios or app store or android store or google play whatever it's called also i'm coming out of retirement uh, i announced on my twitter go and follow that you already know and i'm creating a game called infinite driver it's going to be nothing like the um the uh, mobile game but it's going to be a roblox open world one with missions coded by yours truly so please join the discord it's located in my bio on Roblox or it's located on my group for Roblox. You'll, you'll see it. So thank you guys so much for watching. Have a great day and be safe. Peace. Peace.